Three, two, okay. one. There you go. And action. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good, good day. Morning. Good, good good nap time. Good whatever it is you want it to be. The, just good. throw the word good in front of it. Yes. Um, welcome to our Zoom article featuring the hits of the stage and theater, or right, stage and screen. Sorry. Um, we have uh, uh, what I think is going to be a fun show for you. And we wanted to highlight the theme rather than the artist this time. And then I thought last night, I said, you know, I ought to get some people to play this. <laughs> oh. some, no, no, no. I had some people already in mind. I had Sean and myself. Then last night I said, I ought to get two more. And so um, we actually got two, uh, we got uh, four great performers today featuring some of the great music of the uh, stage and screen and to kick off things we're going to have now by the way i'm going to ask the artist that to share the style that they're using if they can remember to do that it'd be great in the chat if you use the chat put in there what you think the style name is um and at the end of the song maybe he'll tell you the style that he used all right we'll kind of have some fun we'll make it an educational experience uh so sean when he kicks so sean's going to kick off the first number here in a moment so he'll play the song and then afterwards, he'll tell you the style you use, and then maybe an alternative. I'm going to put you on the spot there if you – all right. Um, because uh, he's got today – look at this, folks. Let me spotlight the video on Sean. Look at that. He is playing something that's very rare. Ooh. Mm. Yes. It's like a Marty. It's already is, sold, Marty? I'm afraid. What is that you're playing, Sean? What is it Marty. you have there? This Tell is us. A grand, this is a grand marquee that I a have grand marquee. just for the oh, next few days, and that should be it. But oh, my uh, it, goodness. unfortunately, it's sold. So, mm, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, are we are we ready, right. Robert? Should I? We're begin? ready. It's okay. well, let's start off our show. You guess. I guess you know who the first performer of the day is. Um, it's going to be none other than Mr. Oh. Sean Maloney. Everybody. <laughs> All righty. So today uh, we've got hits of the stage and the screen. And he muted me. <laughs> I'm going to start with the screen here. So let's start with stage and screen. I'm going to start with the screen. See if you can guess uh, what movie this might be from. Does that look familiar there? Rocky. Look at that. That's pretty much what I look like without a shirt, I'll say. So I'm going to move on here. That's uh, the movie Rocky. So I'm going to play the theme from the movie uh, Rocky, uh, which is a lot of fun to play. And uh, if you have a marquee or higher, you can kind of guess what uh, rhythm style this is called. It's a really cool one. So it kind of goes with the song here. So I'm going to put that camera on whoop, so you can see a little better. And here we go. Theme to Rocky.
Now I knew Big who you were. Like. Oh, oh. Very good. Very good. Thank, so thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to move on now because uh, we're going to keep scattering all our artists out today. So our next performer here, you might oh, recognize sure. uh, from five moments ago. Uh, what was that? What was the rhythm style? Yeah. That rhythm style, somebody put it. I see Gene McDonald put it. Oh. Uh, it's called Rocky Tiger. Oh. Yeah. And as far as alternative ones, I couldn't think of any. <laughs> but uh, if, if anybody in here thinks of something, you can put yeah. it in the chat if you've played that song before. So let's throw it back to Robert over here, and he's got our next performer. Who's our next performer? Okay, can performer, you hear Robert? it? Can you hear it? Our next performer is going to be, oh, me. I better look at the list. We've been rehearsing all night and day, every day for the last seven days, folks. And I'm going to play a song, you know, I, uh, one of the things I, uh, one of the things I love to do is work, and I'm going to dedicate the song to all the people who like to go to work because I love what I do, although I don't do this. My job is not a nine-to-five kind of a job. You know the song nine-to-five? Uh, we should retitle the song nine to all around the clock until you go to sleep uh, when, you're not a, when you're not awake song. But I'm going to feature a fun number from uh, the movie. Uh, the movie was called, I believe, Nine to Five. The song I'm going to play is called Nine to Five, and then we'll see if you can guess the name of the style. And I'm going to have a little fun with this. I'm going to, I'm going to improvise here. In the middle of the song, I'm going to see if I can play a, another song using the same style. Let's see what happens here. Ready? Are you ready? Oh, I can't hear you. Let me look at your faces here. Okay, you're shaking your head. You're ready. All right, here ready, we go. Ready, ready, ready. All right, here we go.
thank you. Thank you. Wow. Good job. Good job. Wow. Very well done. Good. Well done. Well done. Right. Yeah. You get the name Very of the good. songs? Did you get the name well, of the songs? Hey, good luck. Yeah, it's nine good. to five. Good luck in any time. That's nine right. And, 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 awesome. and, and the song was nine to five. Anybody want to guess what the name of the style was? Style. Yeah, you got it. The name of the style was actually called nine to five. Yes, it was. It's <laughs> just great. And it, I, as I was playing, I thought that's got a little bit of a country flavor to it. It'd be working great. Well, now we are going to we are going to turn it over. We are uh, we are in Arizona. We got to go back to Florida real quick um, because over in Florida now, if I could find this person, where is Mister the next artist? Where did they go? There they go. Let me spotlight their video here and. There they are. All right, and you're unmuted there. I don't know if you know who this person is, but he is. Oh. He's been very famous on Zoom very, very recently. Did a concert recently, and on the Easy P7, he's done some shows. And we thought, what better person than Joe Fantasia to feature some music of the stage and screen? So it's all yours, Joe. Well, thank you, and welcome, everybody, and I hope you can see me all right and hear me all right. I'm going to be playing on the Inspire, and incidentally, the Inspire is an instrument for those that maybe have the fanfare of the journey. This is the next step up. There are so many features on it. Uh, I'm going to go and use the Broadway background, and actually, I'm going to play a medley of things. It's actually, I don't have to use the transposer because the song starts in G, goes to C, goes to E flat, and then goes back to C. So it's all over the place. Uh, so the first part of it is just a theme from uh, West Side Story, the Tonight. Then it goes into No Business Like Show Business. Then it goes into On a Wonderful Day Like Today from Roar the Grease Paint. And then we go to the main title of a beautiful Broadway show called MAME. So I hope you enjoy it. Kind of it's all over the place. So uh, I'm going to get started on it. I, again, I think I'm muted. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Hey, Good job. Hey, Good job. Sounds like uh, Gary V. Where's, where's Gary V? Usually that's you echoing back there, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's another. That was great. You know, Joe, I have to tell you, um, someday you're going to actually learn how to play one of those things. <laughs> That's what happens when you go to Conductor Magic class with Joe Fontesha. You're going to learn how to play that. That's, that's, well, that's the eighth lesson. That's the eighth lesson. That's right. I always get that wrong. I always think it's the seventh. But you've got to go to at least eight of them to be able to do that. Well, we're going to go from Florida back to Arizona. Wow. This is like that Star Trek beam me over, right? I don't know if you know this guy. <laughs> let's see if I can sw oh I gotta put the camera spotlight the camera over here let's see where is he where is he and boom there we are now don't forget Drum always talks and he forgets where the camera is the camera's right here hey yeah. good morning everybody especially you Sean <laughs> all right and tell me about this uh, about three minutes before the show started and let it tell me whether the small screen or, or big screen so Sean yes they are small screen movies, all right? <laughs> all right, the, the, uh, I'm playing on the symphony also, but this particular rhythm, actually, we kind of stole it from the aria. And it's from a famous movie uh, called The Way We Were, uh, Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford. I think my mom was in love with him. Mom, you didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> she probably did. But anyway, it's going to feature uh, the nine-foot piano, and here we go.
Oh. 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 Yes. Very good. Oh. Very good. Oh. 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 Nice choice. Nice choice. Oh. I did that oh. grand piano just for Gary Beef. <laughs> Gary Vee. Thank you. This is this is pick on Gary V day apparently. There's this is Gary here, everybody. Say hi, to Gary. We have, we have a lot of fun with Gary. He loves obviously you can tell he loves the sound of the piano, so we wanted to get a kid. Did anybody know the name of that style by chance? The way we were. The movie, the way we were. The name of the song was called The Way We Were. And the name of the style was called The Way We Were. Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, that made that, made that easy. No wonder he wanted to play that. It's like, I got to play this rhythm because it's for that song. That's a great song. And uh, like you said earlier, actually, that was introduced on the aria. Yes. And, and the symphony has and that. And Jerome so that, used to play that every New Year's Eve after about two hours of disco all the time. He played that at two hours and, <laughs> and New Year's yeah, after two hours of New Year's Eve. <laughs> all right. Well, well, guess what? We got we to gotta take another little road trip here. Um, because we're going to go from uh, uh, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, back to Mesa, Arizona. And I believe Mr. Sean Maloney's got, oh. I got some mood lighting. It's mood probably lighting. kind of blurry, but that's okay. Oh. I hope it's from a big screen or a small screen. You yes. tell me. <laughs> okay. It's from the middle screen. <laughs> well, I'm going to go back to uh, from the stage to the screen. This, one, this uh, next number here is going to feature both, actually. This was... Uh, a Broadway production as well as a movie, and uh, maybe you recognize this here. Uh, maybe you know what movie or Broadway show that was from. And I am going to play a medley of a bunch of songs from this uh, picture here. Beautiful. Some songs That's you'll probably beautiful. know. And I'm going to switch to the. Very, I'm, gonna, I'm even going to play some songs I don't even know very well. I've got a bunch of music lined up here, and you know, wish me luck. We'll see what happens. I just love to play these songs. They're so fun. Uh, so I'm going to use a bunch of different rhythm styles and a bunch of sounds, but look at that pretty, pretty view there. So here we go. Here's some, some music from The Sound of Music.
That was great. Thank oh, you. Wow. Thank wow. you. Beautiful. Wow. Good job. Oh, awesome. really good. Uh, great job. Good. Oh, Way wow. to go. Way to go. All right. Still kind of dark here. Good choices. <laughs> All right. Let's go back over to Tucson here. And we have uh, one of my favorite people. He's going to play a great song, this next one. Isn't that right? So we'll have some fun with this. Since you're going to do mood lighting, I'm going to do it too in a minute. Can you hear me okay? All right. Um, I'm going to have a little fun with this number. I'm going to get, there's a bunch of things happening in this song that a lot of people don't realize when I do it. First of all, we're talking about stage and screen. There was a movie called Slumdog Millionaire that came out. I forget what year it came out. And there's a style. And I actually got this idea from Joe way back when this came out. And ever since then, uh, I've been using it to play this song, and I've claimed it to be my idea um, ever since. But now that he's here, i got to publicly say, thank you, Joe. There you are. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, anyway, it was a great idea, but i got a couple of fun things. So I, I'm going to merge a movie with a musical. So I'm not going to play the song uh, from the Slumdog Millionaire. I'm using the style called Slumdoggy. And the song I'm going to play is Phantom of the Opera. Ooh, yes. Um, and I'm going to use some sounds here. Now, just so you know, I, to get this effect, and I'll switch the camera view over in a minute, but I, I, I want it, what I did is I transpose it down to E flat. So I take, uh, you know, this key here, Okay, and then I transpose it down to this. Oh, spooky. Oh, and I'm going to have a little fun with that. And that and then I use some really nice uh, low strings and and you'll hear some pipe organ coming in. But there's a sound in here that I use. A lot of people ask me and they look at me funny like what? And not many people use it. And it's been around on some of the models. The instrument is called brass synth dash jump and what it that means is back in 1984 83 there was a rock band that came out you may have heard of them called um, van halen and this rock band introduced a song called jump and the synthesizer sound all the kids went crazy and everybody started playing that song but that sound is in here uh the the instrument and so I use it as part of my arrangement for the song. So we're going we're gonna to use a rock and roll sound from the 80s. And we're going to feature the movie style Slumdoggy from Slumdog Millionaire. But I'm going to play ultimately Phantom of the Opera. And of course, to really, I, I feel kind of jealous. He had uh, special lighting. So Jerome, lights please. Ooh, here we go. All right. This is for you, Joe.
my favorite. That's how he gets me convinced every time with the Jorgen. He played it on this one, so I know that oh, sound thank you so much. Oh, I'll oh, tell you, Jerome Johnson is some fancy, fancy lighting crew out here. <laughs> he's been he's been working uh, day and night on learning how to flicker the lights just right at the right. <laughs> now officially a pro. <laughs> well, guess yeah. what? We get to travel some more. We're going to travel back to Florida. Yay. There's more to come from Joe. You know, Joe actually learned oh, four song. He's up to his fifth song now in his entire oh, career. Yeah. Oh, and he's going to feature one of them today. <laughs> There's Mr. Joe. You got to unmute yourself, Joe, or have your sound engine. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm unmuted. Hello, everybody. Mute all first, too. Hi, Joe. Unmute, yeah. mute everybody else. Wait, is this a two o'clock in the morning group? No, you're o'clock in the afternoon group. <laughs> Great job, Great uh, Robert. Yeah, Great job on that. I'm going to do uh, uh, another group of songs from yeah, that's a great musical called Just Chorus Line. Yourselves. And from Chorus Line, uh, the music was from uh, Marvin Hammer. Oh, oh, mute the all right, Joni. Joni, mute off. Joni, hit mute off, please. Hello. <laughs> all right. How are you? Good. All right, we got. We're all, got everybody muted. All right. So as I said before, I'm going to do a chorus line music from that. A couple of songs. Uh, what I did for love, and one that is quite neat. It's called One. And the reason I like that one is because it uh, has a beautiful signature arrangement in the Inspire. And really, you can play this number one uh, with other rhythms, but if you have the actual rhythm called one, it really fits beautifully. So here's Marvin Hamlish from uh, What I Did from, for Love, and then we'll go into uh, the actual arrangement of the other dancing number called one.
Thank you. Nice job, Good Joe. Job. Big round of applause. Big round of applause. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Good, job. Good job. Good job. Wow. Good job, man, Joe. Enjoyed it. Love that music. Just That's one of my favorites. Well, good, good, good job, Joe. Someday I'm going to learn how to play just like that. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> well, we're going to have some fun with this next number here because, um, you know, these artists, you know, they rehearse weeks and weeks and weeks for this. And then literally before this next song, Jerome decided, I'm going to play a different song all together. And then he had to go set it all up and all this stuff. So hopefully your settings are right. And, all right we're, we're, they're close enough. Yeah. Tom was shaming him. You have your microphone on there? They can't hear you. I was doing this because Sean was shaming me about the big screen and the small screen. Yes. So, was Sean, it? I'm going to do a big yeah. screen movie. Sean okay? here <laughs> was telling Jerome, that song is not an appropriate song for today. And Jerome got oh, a guilty yeah. conscience. And, and so, and literally, as Joe was playing, he decided that uh, I'm going to switch it up for Sean and they're all the students because... Jerome cares about the students, don't you, Jerome? Here's the camera right here. Let him see that sincere face there. Yeah. And, Sean, I care about you, man. I just didn't want to disappoint you with here your small go. and big screen. Yes, okay. All right, here we go. So let's see what happens. Hopefully your setups work for you. I think I'm ready. All right.
Yeah. Beautiful, Jerome. Very nice. A big round of applause. Good job. Good job. All right. Good job. Good job. Hey. That was the other Lion King song. Thank you. That was Thank the you. other Lion King song. Yeah. I was singing oh. today. What's the name of the song, folks? The Lion King. If you get the song right, Sean's going to send you a virtual lollipop. Yeah. And you feel yes. the love the tonight. Love tonight. Oh, we Elton can feel the John. love. I feel the love from everybody. Well, so, so you got it. Yeah. yeah. Good Way to go, everybody. Well, we're gonna we're gonna finish up with one last we'll number here. Um, so and and one of the guys did play on my inspire. Hold Most of them second. don't play the small one. Rowdy bunch. Here we go. Rowdy bunch. Here we go. You're all muted. Boy, Joe, are you there? I'm going to come over there. It's Joe, can you hear me? Joe, uh, you're muted too. All right. Well, you got a minute to unmute yourself. I'm going to just do some quick announcements. You said you had some kind of rock and roll upbeat number today, didn't you? Yes, I do. All right. Um, so we're going to have you close it off today here in just a moment. Before I do, I want to do some quick announcements and say thank you very much uh, for joining us today. Oh, wrong view here. Let me put it on me real quick. And I want to say thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a wonderful time today with uh, the music of the stage and screen. There's, you know, obviously the, the list can go a mile long. We just chose the ones we thought we'd have some fun with today. And a feature we had uh, Inspire. We had a symphony. We had a grand marquee. Um, I didn't get to play the Rialto today, but maybe next time we'll have some fun with that. All wonderful instruments, and, and, and they're in need of being adopted, too, folks. So if you want to adopt the new organ, we have them. Yes, we do. Just remember, these Zoom musicals, the classes, everything we do is absolutely wonderful. And we do that by selling symphonies and rialtos. And I can't sell your grand marquee. Sorry, that's off the table. It's already taken. Uh, but we have uh, a wonderful opportunity on many of these models. And... Last but not least, I just give you a heads up. Uh, over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue sending the emails out reminding you of the classes starting in October, not next week, the following week. Starting in October, when you get the emails, the email is only going to have a link to the website. So ultimately, we want to be able to have everyone joining the classes via the website. But we're going to do that. It's going to be over the course of the next four to five weeks. Uh, so get in the habit of doing that. Um, we're going to do it gradually, not just do it in a, on a uh, last-minute notice. So you'll know when that's happening. But come November, all of the classes that you join will be via the website. All the classes are up there already listed. All of the links for the classes are listed. Everything you need to know is on the website. So get in the habit of using that, all right? Again, thank you so much. And we're gonna, I'm going to spotlight the camera here on Joe. And Joe... Yes. He's going to be our closing artist today. You got your wow. microphone on? I, I got the honor for this. This is great. Um, I'm going to do uh, music from uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. And there we can is. ask Joni to turn up your microphone just a little bit. Okay, thank you. you. Can you hear me all right? That's much better. Thank all you. All right. So I'm just going to, but I'm going to do just a little bit of I don't know how to love him. And then go into the Jesus Christ Superstar. Now, uh, Robert had used Slum Dog. I've actually changed that around to fit into Jesus Christ Superstar. And the last thing I'm going to do, I found this out today on the uh, Inspire, the Fake It button. When I get over to the trumpet and, believe it or not, the marimba, I'm going to let them play on, in the Fake It button category I and you will be amazed what they do the marimba is unbelievable as a fake it sound and I've never used it before so you're gonna hear something really really cool when you hear the marimba doing an ad lib on what we call fake it and it's like I said Joni's shaking her head here so I gotta hear this I gotta hear so be ready for it so here we go
right. Thank you, Joe. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, awesome. Thank you, Joe. I'll try that out. That Thanks again for joining us today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you. And, uh, keep coming to our events. Just when you thought it was enough, next week we have even more coming up. A new instructor for our Wednesday, Thursday classes and a fantastic event coming up next week. Really good. Oh, wonderful. So, have a good day. Thanks again. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you. I'm going to take a whole bunch. Bye. I'm going to take a half a bunch. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.